Hello, my name is Adenike Adeshala Olomola and I'm studying MSc in Pharmacology. I decided to study MSc Pharmacology at the University of Bedfordshire because of a lot of reasons actually. So first of all, the University of Bedfordshire have been commended by the Quality Assurance Agency for the highest standard of higher education provision. And also the University of Bedfordshire have invested in specialist facilities for their students. For example, the £40 million STEM building. It's a well-equipped building, technology building, and then it's just beautiful. And also they have highly qualified lecturers. And um, I also chose to study at the University of Bedfordshire because the tuition fee was, you know, quite affordable. Um, choosing Bedfordshire, the, the location was also an advantage because um, in Luton, the, um, the cost of living in Luton is, you know, is quite moderate compared to other cities in the UK. And then, you know, it's close to um, London, you know, and then in Luton, you get to meet people that you're familiar with and people from other races as well. So it was also an added advantage, you know, coupled with things I've read about Bedfordshire and everything, you know, it, it, it helped um, aid my decision in picking Bedfordshire. So the outlines of the course is just excellent. I mean, we have course outlines like um, drug discovery and development, cell and molecular biology, molecular pharmacology, and clinical pharmacology. And these course outlines are designed in a way that they integrate the latest theoretical developments. So it gives you a broad knowledge of the pharmaceutical industry, of the, um, of the molecular biology, of drugs. You know, you get to learn a lot and then your knowledge is broadened, which, um, you know, gives you the opportunity to get the key skills that you actually need in the pharmacology field. And also um, the assessment types, um, take the, the assessment types that are used in this course, you know, from poster presentations to laboratory reports and all of that. It gives you the advantage of expressing yourself in different ways, you know, and then you get to learn new skills that you didn't even know you had before while assessing yourself, which is very brilliant. Yes, actually, I have taken part in extracurricular activities. Um, I'm a power leader for my course, and then I'm also a member of the Life Science Society. Being a power leader has really enhanced my leadership skills, because, I mean, you get to stand in front of your colleagues and then tell them, this is how it's done, this is how it's done. Do you have any questions? So I actually have to take up roles to, you know, similar to being a lecturer, which has really, you know, made me more confident. And, you know, I have to learn something before I can teach people so it's made me willing to learn more and to know how to do things more so I can teach people better. While studying my MSc Pharmacology there are lots of support that you can get. For example my lecturers they simplify the learning process for you and then while studying you know there's a part that the lecturers will take there's a part you have to do as well before you go back home to do your part you already understand what you're in for. Like it's already simplified for you. You know what you're looking for, you know what you're getting. And then you go back home and read and then it's, you know, straightforward for you. And also, um, we, each student has a personal academic tutor, which I make use of very well. You know, after every semester, um, you interact with them, you give them a feedback. How do you like your course? How do you like your feedbacks, the assessment types, you know, challenges you're facing and all of that. And then you get advised. Also, we get support from the um, study hub. You know, if you have issues with, you know, anything, you can just reach out to them, you know, you know and that they'll be of help to you. They're very helpful. And also the libraries is well equipped, you know, you know, find different books, different, um, their group study rooms, silent study rooms. If you want to go to the library with your friends to read, there's a place for you, you know, very, and um, it's 24 hour service. So you get access to it. Everything in school is very accessible and you, it really helps. To, to enjoy MSc Pharmacology, you know, you have to be willing to learn. You have to be a dedica dedicated person. You know, you have to be enthusiastic about learning, to pursue knowledge. Okay, what's the reason behind this? How does this work? You know, if this happens, what will, what will, you know, what will it lead to and stuff? So you really have to be willing to pursue knowledge, enthusiastic, and then you, you really enjoy yourself while studying the course. 
with um, a degree in Masters in Pharmacology, you can, you, the, the various job opportunities that you can get, you can work in the research field, in the academic field, in the regulatory affairs, you can be a toxicologist, you can be a clinical pharmacologist, you can be an academic researcher, a research scientist, a consultant even, you know, the various job opportunities for you to express yourself. I'd like to use three words to describe the university, which is accommodating, advanced and diverse. So, I mean, accommodating, you know, when I got to the University of Bedfordshire, I saw a lot of students, I mean, black, white, Asian, you know, and everybody, there's, there don't, doesn't seem to be any, you know, discrimination or something. Everybody is one. So it's very accommodating. I felt at home, you know, it was welcoming and then advanced. I mean, I got to the classes. I saw the way the lectures were being delivered. I saw the facilities in the, in the um, technological building, you know, a lot. The whole um, student profile, where you get your notes from, everything is just advanced. And then it's diverse. Like I said, you know, they have different races, different cultures, and everybody just seems to be one, which is very brilliant.